James, thanks for talking to us 24 hours ahead of the match on Saturday against Greenock Morton. Just your thoughts overall ahead of the game? Looking forward to being being back at home. I think the performance last week was was positive in terms of chances created and and what we what we were looking for out of the game. Ultimately, look, we, we said before it we were taking it serious that we we wanted to get through into the next round of the cup. So so that's done now. Morton had a good result at Hamilton on the Friday night as well and got through and, and the week before they had a, a really good one as well. So they'll be coming here fully confidence. We are we're a bit where we are at the minute we're we're a bit more pleased with the way the way the performances certainly have been um, over the last couple of weeks. So we need to add to that. We still know there's there's a lot of work to do in terms of when we'll we'll fully be happy. But you know, the last two performances have been of a of a better standard, so to speak. So we, we need to we need to continue to build on that tomorrow. You'll be pleased that Chris Kane's managed to get two goals in two games, Matty coming off the bench last week and making that impact with his first goal and assist of the season as well. So you must be really pleased from that side of things. Yeah, I think the longer it goes on, particularly when you're the striker and you're playing and and that goal doesn't come, you start chasing it um, and and it becomes a bit desperate. So look, it's done now. I thought it was a fantastic goal. Kano scored last week for, for a really good ball. So as you say, that's two and two for him. Matt, he's now up and running as well in terms of his numbers. But look, we need that all throughout the team. But I think now that... We're now seeing the, the effect that Chris Kane can have now that he's he's fully fit. He's getting ninety minutes into the legs, or he, he can handle that now. And like when we've got him in the team, we know we're a better team. But when he's in it and when he's right, that that's that's what you get from him. And um, we've seen it over the last couple of weeks. I think him and Craig White have been really good together. So no, I'm, I'm pleased for for Kane that the goals have started to come. I would look, I wasn't in doubt that it was going to come, but the longer it goes on, the harder it sometimes becomes. We mentioned about Matty coming off the bench last week there and that was due to the disappointment of Dapo having to go off quite early on. How is he and the rest of the squad looking ahead of tomorrow? Yeah, but I was gutted for Dapo. Um, he's worked really hard um, coming back from the the injuries that he's had and then in his first start he gets a look at it, it's a, it was it's a cut, um that's all, it, it's superficial, but it's just where it is and and the, the the nature of the injury it was even a had we stitched it during the game it was going to it was going to reopen again so like he's now had a week we'll we'll assess it later on today again and see see if we're happy with it in terms of the rest of the squad it, it's really healthy um Tommy Fogger he's come back another good good two full games for the the Northern Ireland under twenty one so we're we're pleased with that he's back he's he's healthy um so it's another good achievement for Tommy. Kyle Benedictus comes back into the squad as does Kieran or Kieran and Gwen is another week in as well. So and we'll wait and see. Like the, the two that were we're still are we'll, we'll no more later on today, tomorrow, regarding as Lewis and Toby. So but apart from apart from those two, it's it's a fit and healthy squad. And the fans were pleased to leave the stadium last week with a victory and hopefully it'll be a, a same feeling come five o'clock on Saturday this weekend as well. Yeah, I think they've just been pleased with the to see a team creating chances and 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 getting them off their seats. Like I say it every week, that's what that's our job. That's what we need to do. We need to get the fans involved in the game, get them excited. Um, I'm sure Morton will be saying that they want to come here and silence our fans or turn their fans against us. Like that's just that that's football. But look, we know what's in the dressing room. We know what we need to do. Um, and we go out on the pitch and, and get this crowd behind us. Then. And look, we've all been here long enough, we've all said it enough now that we know just how much I hope they can be.